You're watching WGAL News 8. 12 years ago, a Lancaster County couple started a fundraiser to help provide young people in Haiti with an education. The 12th annual Hope for Haiti benefit auction that will take place tomorrow. News 8's Barbara Barr reports on how the event is helping the violence plague country. As violence rages in Haiti. So much footage coming out of Haiti and just, you know, just watching it in tears. Kristen and Scott Herzog are working to provide a better future for Haitians. We have uh, an Amish built shed over here. They're getting um, set up for the 12th that. annual Hope for Haiti benefit auction Saturday. It's a team effort with members of the Amish and Mennonite communities playing a big role. We're bringing together people of all these different backgrounds, all these different belief systems, and we're saying we have one thing in common here, and that is raise money for education and business trainings. If we can enable them to earn their own education and get dignity in that, that's, that's the heart of what we want to do here. Kristen first went to Haiti on a mission trip when she was 16. What happened there left such a lasting impact, it led to this lifelong devotion to help the Haitian people. And a lady singled me out of the crowd on the street and handed me her baby and ran away. She said, I thought you could give my daughter a better life in America. That moment revealed a sense of desperation. The catalyst for me years later to start Hope for Haiti Benefit Auction. Kristen says the benefit auction has put 40 Haitians through college and helped land them jobs. It just grew and grew and grew. The goal this year, raise $100,000 with some of the money providing mental health counseling. It's because of the, the trauma that so many of them are just going through. The Herzogs hope to return once it's safe. In Lancaster County, Barbara Barr, News 8. And the Hope for Haiti auction that starts behind the Metzler one room schoolhouse in Westerl Township tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and it runs until the last item is auctioned off.